next to Excalibur. Um, it's on the other side next to Excalibur of this street. Um, Dearborn and Erie. And we love it and we're going to show you why you might love it too. Yeah. No one here can love or understand me. Oh my God. It's really nice to see you too. Oh, you're you're my new friend. I just met you yesterday. I know how fabulous is that. I it's pretty fabulous. Here. I know. I see that you brought your mom and dad to the joint. I did. I brought them to the joint to meet my wedding planner or wedding band. So I'm I know it's the way Chicago is is Chicago. Like for your wedding. Awesome. I'm so excited because you know they wanted to see what they're going to be like, and I want everybody to get up and dance. So this yeah, is really these guys are going to get them up, and and, and and your sweetie Neil sitting over here, right? Yes, he is. So y'all are just uh, out for. A night of fun night at the joint. I'm so. What are you excited. drinking there? A dirty martini, filthy dirty martini. Actually, did she make you take uh, lessons with her? She did. She did. And I like to pretend I'm a Latin dancer, but it's really not the truth. What is it? The truth is, I just like to shake my butt a lot, and uh, that's really where the Latin comes from. I am so glad that I met you yesterday. You just have such a joyful radiance and um congratulations and thank you very much it's a pleasure to meet you too i'm so glad i came here tonight you told me to come here and i'm gonna love it so see see there you go i love hanging out with you i love being here at the joint and i'm excited to have my family here but they love to dance and that's like most important to me is have them coming out and dancing so, yeah <laughs> that's awesome we just got a shot of your folks yeah. <laughs> Neil, is there anything else you want to say well uh, i'm the luckiest guy in the world to uh Aww. be uh Allowing her, her allowing me to marry her. Are you having a great time at the joint tonight? Well, you know, I'm having as good a time as you're going to have without actually having alcohol. But yeah, you know, that's, uh, uh, so I'm ecstatic. This is what ecstatic looks like without alcohol. But, you know, you're, you're I, a native Chicagoan. I am a native Chicagoan. Who told you that? I, I know stuff. I know. I have people. I have people. No, I love Stanley Wozniak. You know, he's a uh, Chicago legend. He's a poet. He's a poet of what we call Chicago ease. And I think you should ask him how to pronounce certain words. All right. Is there anything that I didn't ask you about that you want to tell us about? You know, I, I don't... What is that fragrance you're wearing? That would be the question. It's called Chance by Chanel. Well, there you have it. That's Well, that's about all I needed to know. Thanks, thanks for sticking with me. Thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Oh, but we and I talk was more. Yeah. I, I, I said, brother... If you want a new issue, you're in my shoes. Oh. The joint has a little bit of everything. Jazz room, dance club, you know, VIP. I like blues? I love blues. I love anything that Stan does. Anything that Stan does? What if Stan started making macaroni and cheese? What if, like, that was his new thing? Then I would, you know, eat macaroni and cheese. What if it wasn't good? What if he made it with blue cheese and you're like, that just doesn't taste right? If it was for a good cause, I would do it. <laughs> but what if, what if it wasn't for a good? What if the only cause was just that he decides that blue cheese macaroni is good? Then I would have my friend do it. Chris Hat Dance. You're a pretty loyal friend. I am. I love being here. Uh, you guys are great, and whatever I can do to support the place. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ow.